right, so here's the former UFC welterweight title challenger, Darren Till. This guy is all action, all systems go, huge fan base, very fun to watch. First time he tasted defeat, though, was in his first UFC title fight against Tyron Woodley. Valuable lessons gained, and he looks to put those to good use here tonight. As you continue to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, you earn the opportunity to fight guys like Tyron Woodley. And if it doesn't go your way, you go back to the drawing board and you get better. And I am confident that Darren Till will do exactly that. He's a very, very talented young man. He's a young man that's even wise beyond his years and thinks as a fighter that's much more seasoned than he may actually be. Seems to have mastered the weight cut at this point in time. We'll see how it goes for Darren Till here tonight. from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always the chin, the right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you gotta watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Darren the Gorilla. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Putnam Perry. One of the best in the business, Ray. Herb Dean, is our referee Ray. tonight. Go. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that in all four night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon, one of the greatest as opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. That one landed clean. Oh, nice right hand. A couple of chins here being tested early. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Big shot to the head. Oh, there it is. Another hook connects. That was great head movement. Range with that one. Till circling towards the left side now. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, that is expensive. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Tony Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he made a right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to perform his very bad. 
just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by Darren Till. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Oh, nice strike landed there by Tim. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean... Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. <clears throat> Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Huh. Round two is next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot. Got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, Perry gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Huge block there. Till his eyes starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Might get the TKO here. He's having his way with him here. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got good body position, yo. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is... Oh, he's going again! And now he lands a combination! In the half guard. Oh, and there it is. Was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. And very effective with the ground and pound. Fight back! Good, solid strike on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Nice positional control here. Big ground and pound. Beautiful strike there as he can. Oh, big shots raining down. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied. Oh! All right, side control now. Perry's in half goal. Great shot from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Perry's back in side control. Oh, right into mount. Different round, and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin K. 
Gator, every strike he has thrown seemingly has found him the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Perry gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Gets back to his feet. That punch. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 12 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mike Platinum Perry! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.